Professor Jesus. So today I'm going to tell stories associated with Carl Jung and Julian Rotter. For Jung, I'm going to talk about the Myers-Briggs score. When I got the I, I wasn't really surprised because I often feel drained in social situations and I really like relaxing in my house when no one's home and it's really quiet. I have three siblings and parents who are a lot more extroverted than I am, so it's a struggle sometimes, definitely during quarantine. I like keeping to myself and I don't mind the comfortable silences every once in a while, you know. I usually take a lot of time to think about what I'm going to say before I say it as well. I go through like dozens of different scenarios in my head because I don't like being caught off guard during social situations, but you know, it happens sometimes. The intuition aspect also didn't surprise me much. I like to think I have common sense, but when I first learn about a project or a new possibility, my mind often jumps to like crazy ideas. But in reality, I know most of the ideas won't come true, but I like thinking about how things could be in the future. Um, according to the description of intuitive people, they're okay with fuzzy data, but I think that's kind of weird because I really like history. I actually want to be a history professor, so I was like, hmm. Um, I do, it does kind of make sense to me in a way because I really like when you look at history and you can find new things now that changes the way you think about a person or event that did happen in the past. So the feeling type also applies to me very well. I hate conflict and I'll do almost anything to avoid it. I'm not a huge fan of part-time jobs as well. Dealing with the public is hard sometimes and I really hate conflict. I'm on leave from Menards now, but when I was working, I'd get stressed out sometimes. They really wanted me to do the service desk, but I really didn't want to because people always come in with problems and I don't want to deal with them. I, I know I want to be a professor and I don't want to work at Menards all the time, so I don't want to be yelled at by people that I, you know, I are okay. <laughs> So I used to be a perceiving, but now I'm a judging, and I can tell that I've grown as a person. In the last year or two, I've been rather stressed out, and I'm trying really hard to de-stress. Uh, it makes sense to be put in the judging category, because I try to plan fun activities for myself. And it also makes sense, because I try to use school deadlines and dates that I work to make time for myself and figure out when I should work on specific homework. Alright, so in addition to Jung, I did like Julian Rotter, actually. I was really excited to take the interpersonal trust test. I definitely think trust is essential, and that showed in my score, which was a 72. It's still in the trusting range, and I think I'm a trustworthy person, and I think the same of others. Like I said earlier, I've been a cashier for a lot of part-time jobs for the last couple years, and most people are really nice. I really like talking to people. Nobody really means to steal anything, you know, if they leave something in the cart by accident, they usually make a joke, which is pretty fun, you know. But every once in a while, there is some people. There are some people who like hide things in their cart, and it makes me really upset because you know I would never do that myself, and you're taking advantage of other people's trust, and you know that makes me upset. But overall, I've had good experience with strangers, which is good. For the interpersonal scale of trust, I got a 14, which was leaning on dependent on external forces. I was actually worried I'd be too dependent on external forces, so I like the score. <laughs> Uh, I definitely believe that I have control over my life in the fact that I study my butt off for all my classes and I've passed the last few years with a 4.0, which I'm really proud of. I know that all my hard work actually, you know, accounts for something and I have a good chance of success at, you know, school. Sometimes though, I do have professors who don't see the amount of work I put into it. I have like a drawing class this year where I work really hard, you know, but I don't agree with the average grade she gives me. It kind of sucks, you know, because I feel like I am putting a lot of effort into that class and... I have to work extra hard to get the grade that I think I deserve, you know, but it definitely doesn't happen in this class, so thank you. Going back to the external factors, I think some things are meant to be, you know. I grew up on Disney movies and magical stuff just happens to them, so, you know, I always have this tiny bit of hope that something, fate will throw something good at me. And sometimes it does, you know, but I do believe that putting in some effort leads to some good opportunities, too. Thank you for listening to my stories, and thank you for a really great semester.